Hey, hello there in YouTube or internet, wherever you are. Uh, I'm making this video because I found that there's a large need for this, and it's related with this Dell 8 inch uh, no, Venue Pro and the stylus. Dell stylus, which actually is the only stylus that will work with this, and I found that. Well, it's not the best stylus in the world, let's just say. And the problem is I got is that first of all, it's either too sensitive where the you know, line will continue to write after you pick up, lift up the tip from the tablet. And some people in the internet are calling that ink you know, dripping. So it's kind of like an effect that the ink continues to write even though you let go of the screen. So that's one problem I've been having. The other problem, of course, is the short battery life. And I already changed, I only had this pen for one month and a half, and I changed the battery twice. This is uh, the third battery, I just put it on yesterday. So we should be good to go for this video. But later in the video, I'll show you one of the reasons why I think the battery was running very low actually you know what let's talk about that now because it's related to the fix i found related with the ink dripping and the over sensitive or lack of sensitivity and i noticed that this pen when it falls to sleep after 45 seconds of course if you push these buttons the rocker buttons for a right click and the eraser it will wake up the pen so you could use it but I also noticed that after waiting 45 seconds, if I just slightly rub or even nick or touch this tip here, it will wake up the pen. So that also, that when it's in my in the cover, I used to have here the cover. It has a little belt, and you put it there alongside the tablet, even though you are not using it. When it's inside the book bag and it's rubbing everywhere. This pen is actually on the whole time when it's in your suitcase or your briefcase. So I started putting it in my shirt pocket to see if that stays battery and the opposite is actually still wasting the battery away. So I don't know if you could see it but when I move my pointer around it senses it where I'm going to pick a folder. So we're going to wait 45 seconds, I'm going to cut the clip and we're going to come back in 45 seconds to see, wait till the pointer is completely asleep. And now I'm back after 45 seconds and now the stylus pen is completely asleep. So if I put hover over the pictures, nothing will react. But notice what happens if I just slightly rub the tip more starts hovering so as so you can see the tip of the stylus also affects the function of the pen meaning if it's rubbing against your shirt against your hand your finger your notebook anything it's gonna be on and that's why i believe the battery is running out so quickly on so many people that has to be related with the positioning of this little tip and I believe it, that's where my fix comes into play. If you can see the little gap right here between the tip and the actual pen, this it might be hitting the sensor just enough that it's too sensitive. So being too sensitive means that it will sense it's on the tablet or the opposite. It's too sensitive where it will feel it's not touching the tablet but it really is and then you don't get any writing. So either way it goes, too much sensitivity on the sensor of this pen is not good. So what I did for a fix is, if you can see the gap right in between, um, regular, normally this pointer will be much closer to the actual pen, not such a big gap, but I noticed when I took out the tip and I put it back in, I put it just slightly that is 
not all the way flush into the bottom it's hard to describe yeah it's just if I push it down a little bit more you see it now it got closer but if you just stick your fingernail in there and just pop it out a little bit where it won't fall off it's still hard it's still hard in there but now the sensitivity is just right where I don't get any ink drips and also it's very responsive so I don't get any missing letters or lines so what I'm going to do is show you that test right now uh, before and after the fix all right so here we are this is much better as you can see I'm erasing now everything I did and this is after the hat it's so responsive right now I could I wasn't able to do that before the circle around because it will cut off halfway around the circle so now it is very responsive no leaking no missing lines of course if I'm too sensitive or too loose against the tablet itself yeah you might lose some sensitivity but it's actually really good and another area where I really had trouble is with the handwriting recognition as well but over here is fine too even when I'm writing super small writing super small it still catches it fine so very responsive please everybody internet the fix for the Dell venue 8 pen is once again the tip right there how much of a gap you put and zoom in there this tip right there that gap in between just use your fingernail and it should be about one millimeter two millimeters and that is enough to fix it now how would it work if I had to regularly push all the way down let's see okay. try again so right now is working fine but soon or later it will leak ah there it is you cut that got it on camera the leakage It happens after you write something, you lift up your pen and it's still overly sensitive. Ah, missing letters. Missing letters. These are a bunch of eights. Ah, leaking. See? So. Remember, this is a fresh battery in here, so it shouldn't be excused. And look at all those leakings. But let's try with my hack again. Show you how I did it. Stick your finger in there. And just pop it a little bit. Just a little bit. And. There we go, and that should do it. Much better rates than before. Look at that. More responsive. So, 
that is my fix best part no Dell support no money free all you need is a finger now all right hope this helps leave any comments or questions bye